Hey all, and we are going to be doing something completely different today. Um, this is going to be for the start of each month, depending on how very extremely bored I get, but I'm going to be doing um, around five or so videos of, or five, well, five or so videos of me doing this, of five separate courses of Super Mario Maker. So let us start off with what courses I can review for today. And this is going to be approximately 15 minutes for each for each part here, so... I'm just going to be doing what I think will probably be the best of the best here. Yeah, here we go. Let's see, what kinds of courses can we play here? Wow, okay, so we have... We have Desert Land, state, uh, level 4 from Mario 3. Let's... Let's actually start off with Explore Mario Jungle Temple by Steph from America, and it looks like this this lady has 58 stars, so will this course be very good? Let's just see. Whoa. It's it's definitely a jungle, I can definitely tell you that. It looks like it looks like some, it look it looks like something you can you can scavenge about in um, the Amazon rainforest. I mean, look at it, it's just, there's a lot of vines. Can you, can I climb on vines? Yeah, yes, I can, okay. Pretty good. Now, let's see if we have anything, oh, okay, we have a coin. Burn down the jungle, welcome to the jungle, baby. Oh, boy. What else can we find here? We have more, oh, good, we have our firefly. Ah, uh, ah, uh, come on, Mario. I did not pay you to not get the fire flower. And I'm not exactly sure what that was about. I think that was probably the TV going on in the background because we do have South Park going on in the other room. Okay, anyway. Oh! Giant Thwomp! Okay, so we might have to kind of cheese our way through this. Let's see. Oh, wait. stupid! Stupid dry bones. Okay. Let's just. Dang it! Wow. Oh, there was an extra life there. Didn't really need it, but good, I got my mushroom back at least. Now let's hope for the best there aren't any potaboos ready to burn me in the ass here. <laughs> I, I kind of like how I can tangle with... Ah, dang it, stupid thwomp. I don't know if I'm going to be getting through... Uh, wow, really? So now I have to go through this whole level again. That's that's mighty pleasant. But I'm, I don't think I'm going to be cutting out the footage here yet, because it was not that long a trek, so I'm just going to just play things as they are, and next time if I do die, then I will probably edit it out, but it's not going to be that bad, guys, especially when you have to go through just an easy temple like this. It's just... Or rather easy and interesting. Because this is pretty interesting stuff here. Okay, let's not... Let's not die from dry bones again. And let's get that extra life, even though it's mighty pointless. And of course I lost my mushroom in the process. Again! <laughs> but anyway, let's do that. Let's do the jungle fever again. Jungle boogie. Do, do, do jungle boogie. And let's try to avoid the thwomp at all costs again, because this giant thwomp is a mother. No pun intended, of course. Okay, ah yeah, that's right. And yay, treasure trove! Did we get anything for nothing here? I'm guessing it's all for nothing. Yeah. Mighty disappointing. Okay. Whoa, 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 hello, checkpoint. <laughs> Whee! Funny thing about my... About my play... Th well, funny thing about my game, the version I have... I don't exactly have, um... I don't exactly have the checkpoint update yet, which is really odd, because I should have gotten that, like... Two weeks... Two weeks since I got the game. <laughs> I should have gotten... The first primary seven updates, you know, the the whole toolkit. And whoa, 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 hello, Chain Chomp. 
You do your thing. Ah! Oh, okay, giant pipe. Hopefully this is the way out. It is the way out, okay. Well, that was an interesting obstacle course, and unfortunately I don't get another life for that, even though it was still mighty pointless. I'm not exactly sure why they added lives here anyway. I guess it makes a more nostalgic feel to it, but... Still, though. I don't exactly know why... I don't exactly know why Nintendo made one-ups in this game to begin with, but I don't want to question myself. Now, is there... Okay, let's see if we can star this. Let's see here. There is a way to do this, right? What, what, what am I doing? Okay, here we are. Can I star it? Let's see. Cleared and... Yeah, I think I automatically start this. Um, oh, really? Sorry, guys. I'm still trying to get used to the controls here, but... Yeah, there we go. So already you get stars, Steph. So congrats on making a pretty good, pretty good course. And this is in Japanese. So let's see what we can do here. Okay, so Japanese by Japanese. <laughs> let's just see how very bad this game is going to be. This very level. Hopefully not quite as bad. But as we can see here, it's whoa what. How in the world are we supposed to get through this? Because we have bouncing thwomps everywhere. Dang it. Yeah, I'm just going to cheese it. There we go. I'm not exactly sure if that's what the author had in mind, but I am going to do that anyway. Because I can. So, there we go. Now we have... Apparently we have Inner Tube City here. Dang it. Okay, I guess we can go through this pipe, which brings us to stuff. I am not exactly sure what that was all about, but... Oh, they're like... I think they're giant... Giant, okay. I think they're actually... Oh, okay, okay, that's the Buzzy Beetle helmet. But I think those were actually supposed to be, um... I thought they were supposed to be the baby Yoshis that you can grab and... You can feed the Goombas. Oh, okay, I see. And this looks pretty dangerous, so let's try to do everything carefully without having to fall down and such. Because that's something that's not very pleasant at all, is to fall down and... Oh, whoa. Wow. <laughs> yeah, hello, Glitch. <laughs> it's a good thing I can glitch my way through that. Whoa, 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 hello. So I, yeah, I forgot that. Stepping on thwomps doesn't exactly make you immune to... Yeah, yeah hooray, I get a lot of coins or something. <laughs> hooray, I got a treasure for doing a very easy course. Sorry guys, I had company, so I had to help my grandma out with the groceries. Which was pretty fun. A little bit time-consuming, but not very, not very bad. So yeah, you guy, you guy, get a star, shine, get. So anyway, three more courses to go before we wrap this up. So let's see, mega level, twelve stars, ninety-four tries. So let's see, let's see how well this whole level is going to be. Ooh, I bet it's going to be super exciting. Oh yeah. Oh whoa whoa. So, starting off, we have Koopas, which is going to be kind of, uh... Wow, that was a bit... Like, whoa, I for... Okay, I didn't realize there was there were spikes there. Okay, let's try that again. And let's get through the Super Mario World-esque piranha plant. Okay, let's... There we go. I love how all the levels that 
people generally play here in Super Mario Maker are they're either big obstacle courses or like just kind of Kaizo esque dang it. They're kind of Kaizo esque kind of puzzles. I mean it's pretty interesting. I don't mind the gimmick that much, but I'm just I'm kind of more of a vanilla vanilla kind of gamer. For example, a lot of the a lot of the levels I've created are just basically like just kind of typical cookie cutter kind of games. It's just it's just something more like along my lines. I'm just I'm just more of the conventional type. I'm not really more the kind of guy who would do Kaizo Kaizo games. <laughs> And I'm not exactly sure what I'm supposed to do here. I think I'm supposed to... Yeah, there we go. I think this is supposed to be a vine. Come on. Yeah! Dang it. Either that, either that or a springboard. But yeah, let's try this one more time before I have to edit it out. And no, that was not one of those times. So yeah, fourth time is the charm, and if not, then... It probably won't do me that much harm to just cut out some footage here until I recover that springboard. Okay. There we go. So now we need to bring the Koopa over here. So then he can do his job, his honors. And this, yeah, this is going to be kind of annoying, especially when you have three Koopas on screen. Because, as in basically every single Mario game to date, Koopas actually kill themselves if you allow them to, dang it. Or you can kill yourself in the process as well, so yeah, anyway. Cutting. Okay guys, I finally got that springboard back up, so let's climb to the top of this tree here, only to find a GIANT SPINY. And can we, okay, we can actually jump over you and do we get a mush? Okay, good, we get a fire flower. Because I do need said fire flower in order for me to succeed. Maybe. <laughs> it depends on how very terrible this might get. Hello, uh, sideways flying piranha plant of doom and gloom. And. Boom! Bang zoom. Okay. What that? Dang it. Well, shucks. Okay, it wasn't that long before the goal anyway. Wow. But yeah, for for a minute there, um, I look like a mini-sized Captain Falcon action figure. Because the power-up that they gave me at the very start of the level was actually... For some reason it was a Captain Falcon head. 